Would you believe me if I told you all the shit that I done been through? Say I'm lying like a motherfucker if I told you what I went through. Fuck another nigga business, I got my own intent too. They saying I won't make it, but I'ma make it if it's meant to. They don't mean they your family, cause they somebody that you kin to. Where I'm from, you eat the whole plate, give a fuck about a menu. Yeah, I'm a street nigga, so street shit is what I'm into. Nigga, go do it. Blink who tell me what you think do. Yeah, they say don't trust the soul, so I don't trust the soul. Last nigga I trusted fuck around and told Nigga I'm trying to get rich What's your fucking goals? Cause if we ain't got the same goals Then we ain't fucking bros Yeah Young nigga got a story to tell Young nigga got a story to tell I done lost a lot but never lost myself Young nigga got a story to tell Young nigga got a story to tell Young nigga got a story to tell I done lost a lot but never lost myself Yeah, yeah. Trigger and shoot one of you dead And I would've made him do it If I wouldn't think about my son in that bed Every morning I wake up That shit come to my head I'm still debating if I should really believe The one with the dreads Baby mama by my side But I know that she's scared Cause a nigga living so fucking dangerous But it's keeping us fed These niggas swear to God they hear me But they ain't heard shit that I said But I swear it's cool though I'ma make it out Regardless of how the rules go They say I'm moving too fast I feel I'm moving too slow And I know they probably hope I don't make it And if I make it They gon' try to come take it But I'm waiting on them yeah, young nigga got a story to tell. Young nigga got a story to tell. I done lost a lot, but never lost myself. Young nigga got a story to tell. Young nigga got a story to tell. Young nigga got a story to tell. I done lost a lot, but never lost myself. Young nigga got a story to tell. Young nigga got a story to tell. Young nigga got a story to tell. Nations, the Pope gave them what they called the white man's burden and the right of discovery of foreign lands. So most of us don't know that the highest ranked imam is the Pope. He's also the highest ranked rabbi, also the highest ranked Christian, highest ranked Freemason. He was also the highest ranked Jesuit. All of these positions, because these are the all roads lead to Rome, di to Rome dynamic. Everything that you tracing ends up at the Vatican. All of our historical records that they claim got burned down in Alexandria was actually ushered into the Vatican through an underground tunnel um, from the Middle East that went to Italy. And the people on the, on the ground had no clue. But those records is a secondary set of records. There's another set of records that was in the ancient temple of Isis in the Grand Canyon, in the temple of Tehuti called Teotihuacan in Southern Mexico. I told you before, I don't do debates. Let me go into this a little bit and explain to you why. They want to know, what's your reference? Where you get it from? So you have to go into um, academia and extract what they call an acceptable reference. So when we're doing a debate and we go in and pull in references, we pull in somebody else's opinion to validate our opinion. There's other means of acquisitions of information that's not accepted by modern academia. Reading the movement of animals in a migration. They don't accept that as science. Reading the structure of the clouds that show you imagery in the sky is not accepted as science. But then they show you in movies like the Avatar, people tying their locks to a tree in order to download information. It's not accepted by science. Literacy is taken for granted in the modern era. In order to be a reader and a writer, you had to be part of a royal family or a priesthood. The average everyday Joe didn't read and write. So now we have 
eloquently written slave narratives written by so-called slaves and the only way they was privy to education is to be part of an organization or a secret society or a royal family when we pull in references we pull in references from the secret societies that they laid down in order to control the historical narrative we use in these as our debate tactic references but what about what your soul tell you? But what about what your soul tell you? That's not accepted by science. When your DNA start to communicate with your physiology to give you higher learning from the spirit realm that you have to convert it into the common language of the people who speak the language, that's not accepted by science. You classified as insane if you receive a prophecy in the modern era. But in the ancient times, if you received a prophecy, they went and presented you to a collection of priests that listened to the prophecy to determine if they had received a similar prophecy and two or more people is not going to receive the same information and it not be true. When you look at like tarot readers, you go on YouTube and you will see a common theme in a lot of tarot readers but when they do the interpretation, they pull the same card, but they translate it different. If your source is the creator, prime source of all data and information, and you cite that, it's not acceptable, but that's the creator of all. But if you cite the old uh, pedophile, crackhead, coke addict, Sigmund Freud, coke addict, Sigmund Freud ah now we got a reference and you teach this in elementary is to look at the problem from somebody else's perspective in order for you to internally look to see how you feel about that perspective so that you know how to trace data you should be using higher intelligence in university than you do in elementary now you know how to use yourself as the first person perspective in the creative construct and the paradigm and all things must feed through your higher consciousness. So DNA is completely loaded with data. It's completely loaded with data that you never access. You, you can't hear the voices of your ancestor when you consume with academia. Like the natives that was already here nobody want to address the ones that look like us nobody want to address the ones that look like us you ever see a uh, physicist when they get stuck on a the problem they go bring in a whole bunch of different eyes they all looking at the same problem i was watching a math competition when i was a teenager and it kind of blew my mind you guys gave the same answer one gave a different answer three was close but the one who gave the different answer is the one they said was right in this long drawn out physics problem that took up half a chalkboard so they had two formulas to choose from three of them chose the same formula one chose a different formula so it's chemistry this is the game of the gods we playing this is the game of the gods we playing ain't nothing what we think it is History is just a lie they all agreed upon. They said it, not me. We also know about the edicts of the church that gave the most vile and bloody oath of the papacy to kill the kings, the princes, and the people of the land was a subtext to what we call the white man's burden. But what we didn't know was that the white man ain't white, that the white man ain't white. He's not a pale face. It's his status. When the attacker come, he have to erase the history of the ones he choose to subjugate with a false narrative that undermines the natural psychological development of the person he's trying or the people he's trying to oppress. So nobody want to talk about the natives that look like us because now we stepping on the toes of the slave narrative. We will protect the slave narrative with bloody force before we surrender it and recognize that in Africa, 
scramble for Africa, Berlin Conference. They was at war with the same people getting kicked out of Europe that decided to come over here. The scramble for the Americas. We believe that the United States of America is our government because that's what they told us. Because that's what they told us. And it's an absolute fallacy established by royal powers in Europe that had nothing to do with the natives of the land. You don't see no name like Little River Running, Tall Wolf Walking, Black Eagle Sword. There ain't none of them names in there. These are English renditions of what the natives referred to themselves as. Then you find when you study Andrew Jackson, the Trail of Tears, the Paper Genocide, that presidents was referring to people that was ne- that was first generation born over here. That mean their parents came from overseas, had a child when they got over here and they declared him the chief to sign a treaty. This is why the treaties had to be canceled for the fraud because all of the people signed the treaties wasn't us. Ain't that what they told us? But that didn't have nothing to do with the people that was already here. King George told him not to proceed beyond the Appalachian Mountains because he recognized they was guests in the foreigner's house. What they do? And Lois and Clark to survey the land when all the tribes was on their way to the Gullah Wars. They went up north and west to go behind the tribes leaving the castles. So when they get back to D.C., they can tell them there is no royalty in the castles. We was down there fighting Gullah Wars. And so we tend to believe the narrative that the was thrust up on us. We that the was thrust up on us. We was prisoners of war. That's a that's true. But slave and prisoner of war don't equate to the same thing because we never stop fighting. We just start fighting in a different way. And the story starts with a sibling rivalry between the one who was given the command of earth that they call Enki. Enki mean Lord of Earth or Earth Lord. And his brother, his half brother, which was born to a senior wife, his name was Enlil, the the Lord of the sky, because he was the governor of the fleet that lived in the skies. They lived on city-sized aerial devices called Vimanas. When you're looking at um the bloodlands this is where the divergence take place the god allah which is classified as an ancient um air moon god in sumeria he's known as ninersin so the mountain of ninersin is the sinai mountain is where the civilization called babylon was flourishing in babylon was where they had was known today as the captivity of the Jews. The genetically altered hominids that they mixed their DNA with in in order to create what we call the uh, divine right of kings to rule on earth if they had the blood of these people. Earth is a matrilineal planet from its inception. But these people is patriarchal. But these people is patriarchal by nature. They know about the divine feminine and they respect it, but they don't want us to know it. That's rulership over a group of people. And this is where I have a lot of conflict with the Moors coming in my videos talking about what's your nationality. I can't surrender my sovereign capacity to assume a secondary position as anybody's national because I don't see no nation on this planet that these people that I'm from, Mississippi Clay Dirt Walking, that I'm from, Mississippi Clay Dirt Walking has established that's currently in operation as a nation. The nation is governed by the national leader in the National Leadership Committee. We, today we call it president, we call it prime minister and parliament. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's slavery by another name. Everybody on earth supposed to be wealthy. Ain't supposed to be no poverty on earth. 
But we so busy chasing the bag that we keeping other people subjugated in order for us to get the bag. Somebody gonna come along like Rod Hayes and say, wait a minute, I don't want no motherfucking bag if we all don't got the bag. Keep your bag because I know how we supposed to be living from genetic memory past lives spilling over into the modern one, something is wrong. I speak, I'm not just speaking from book knowledge. So when I speak, I'm not just speaking from book knowledge. I'm also speaking from listening to the winds. I'm also speaking from watching the animals, reading the culture and how the people move on their land that's natural to them. And it shows the imposters clear as day. They look like us, but they don't feel like us about each other. We will do something bad to you about our mama and they'll sell you theirs. We will dismember you about our children and they will sell you theirs. Everywhere we congregate for a peaceful conversation, they got to come in and disrupt the peace with nonsense. They reveal who they is, but we don't want to accept the fact of who they are because we think they somebody important in the society that we need to be beholden to. I'm not beholden to nobody. I'm just out here telling people what I see. Some of them can see it. Telling people what I see. Some of them can see it and some of them can't. The ones who can't, they might come around and see later, but in modern times, real time documentation is what we need to be looking at. The Indigenous Rights Act of the Americas, the continuity of government FEMA documents. This is telling us actually in real time what's taking place. And the continuity of government is waiting on us to follow the redemption process in the oral tradition of the people of the land. That don't mean we don't keep records. That don't mean we don't keep records. That don't mean we don't keep records. It mean that the spoken word is the source of the energy that's being moved. This is what make people like Malcolm X a historical figure that we got to keep revisiting. So what do they do? They don't take them from us. They only promote the stuff they said that they want us to pay attention to and the stuff they don't want us to pay attention to, they try to brush that to the side. So when they talk about Martin, they talk about his nonviolent approach that he adopted from Gandhi. Talk about him saying, I'm not sure nonviolence is the way. Before the colonists came, we were already here. Martin said it. Then he, Martin said it. Then he told how they undergirded the European peasantry with infrastructure. At the same time they was doing that, they were sharecropping us and pushing us off our land and giving them to foreigners. So we began migrating and congregating in inner cities. Right? We stopped having family reunions so often after they was busting our families up because we following the narrative somebody else gave us. When Noble Jew Ali say you are what your ancestors were without a doubt of contradiction. We hear them, but we don't hear them of conquest. These bloodlines migrated. As they went north, they established the Ottoman Empire and became Byzantine kings. As they went west, they moved into parts of Africa and crossed the Bering Straits and moved into Italy and became known as Etruscans, the Jacobite. So when we're tracing them back, we know what this point of origin is. And then not only do we know that, they wrote about it back then. Don't nobody want to do the work. This is part of the reason why the referencing system is flawed because it's flawed because only certain people is willing to go dig through the references. And then there's unspoken information that's passed in the written word that we also fail to capture. Look, square pants in the 30s meant homosexual. Now we mean SpongeBob. The, the usage of it changed. Right? Gang used to be another term for tribe. So what do they do? They villainized it. They don't want us to assert our sovereign right to exile the national jurisdiction of the legal fiction. 
And our people need to become aware of this. Like a lot of people don't even know that to create the toughest environment to be in is a way to put fire to the ones coming up. But it also shines a spotlight for the government. You got to remember, they study us more than they study themselves. When we look at the darkness of space, yes. that's called the primordial noon. This is the sacred waters of creation. The only other place that has the sacred waters of creation um, is the womb of a woman. By comparative analysis, you cannot get into the physical realm unless you come through a womb. It all begins in the uterus with a single spark of light. And these source codes is going to be absorbed in the women, disseminated into the physical earth through the mitochondrial connection to the earth. And then when the sun's UV rays strike the core of the earth, it's going to carry that message back to the sun in an echo format. The sun is then going to make the corrective measures using um, ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet radiation. This is why they call us sun blood beings. We're children of the sun. But we really children of the infinite dark. It's manifesting in this 3D reality through the womb to become caretakers of this realm. Now, Love and light comes forth and proceeds from infinite darkness. Bobby Hemmings say, it's the feminine realm. The chaos becomes order, as the lies call it, fiat lux, let there be light. Illuminate your brothers with the knowledge. Knowledge itself. So, when they controlling the narrative, you have to find where they controlling it in order to psychologically liberate yourself from their control. And um, <laughs> that's because you don't know Malachi teachings in its true form. I'm not an I'm not a new hobby, and I'm growth and development. My chief name Larry Hoover. My only interest in bringing Malachi up is the interest of truth, and it's the same with Elijah Muhammad. I'm not an FOI. The, what happens is we get infiltrated by people that look like us. They barred from membership in the Nation of Islam. So you can't blame it on pale faces. The Nation of Islam buses rival that of Greyhound. No matter whether they come from the Peacestone Nation, whether they're a Crip or Blood, we was already here and we gonna figure it out. It might not look like the people wanted to look when we figure it out. And we, we overlook these people that laid their life down for us to wake up from this foolishness. Only one of us gotta wake up. Go back. Malcolm said we aboriginals. He said you never find a pale face aboriginal anywhere. In that speech, he was telling us we was already here. We, we, we got convenient ears to hear what the slave master wanted us to, but when the leaders was telling us the whole time, the civil rights bill is called the Indian Civil Rights Act, and we think that it means the nigger civil rights act. Well, we ain't paying attention. Everybody think JFK signed all that legislation and it was all signed by Lyndon B. Johnson. But we ain't paying attention. So my job is one of the chiefs on the land. It's just to tell the people. They one of the chiefs on the land. It's just to tell the people. They tricked us. They tricked me too. I was tricked at one time. We talk about those slave barracks, right? When you look at the pictures, you see the cannons facing the water. Why is the cannons facing the water if they're going into the land to take people out of the land? Just ponder on that. Why are the cannons not facing inland where they was going to get the people from? If they was going to get the people from, if they kidnapping them. They all facing the ocean where the ships come in at. They not facing inland. So when we looking at this, they telling us a narrative, but it's anomalies in the narrative that if you say something about it, people get offended. Whereas the falsehood and what's the truth? You got two people inside of you. One real, one fake. The one that's fake is fighting to fit in. And the one that's real is fighting to break out. 
you can't make money and go to war. We've been in the state of war for 500 years. We was minting our own money. The face on the money told you who, what tribe it came from. On the back of the money, the animal that was on the back of the money told you what totem clan that that tribe belonged to. You might have a thousand tribes under one totem. The the raccoon, this is where the raccoon hats, Davy Crockett, that didn't come from the pale face. We was already wearing coon hats long before they came and beaver hats. And we was wearing coyote pelts and wolf pelts according to the tradition of the local clan. And you knew from the geography of the layout of the land when you crossed over a barrier because you're going to see another totem pole in plain sight. We didn't fly flags. Everything, the banks, the two sides of the river is the banks. And the reason they called us black because we was presumed lost or dead at sea. If he did, produce the body. The law of the land was handshake contracts. The law of the seas, you got to put it on paper and sign it in blood. Babylonian blood magic. The reason why the Moors find the term black offensive is because they free white persons in law and the enemy is the ones that's black. So when you go back to the Black's Law Dictionary, it tell you free white persons and law is Moors. But where did they come from? What do that even mean? They said the Caucasian is not a free white person in law, but a Moor is, and a Spaniard, and a Jew. So we talk in conquistadors, conquest. Jesus is ISIS. Look, my give a fuck meter don't work. It is what it is. So the continuation of the knowledge falls to the trickle down of the ones who know what they looking for the only way you know what you looking for is you pre-program before birth tell a child what he's gonna come here for his mama is making up her mind why she creating him she telling the father we gonna make this baby for this purpose the father saying i'm either with it or i'm not if he not with it he not participate is a de deliberately giving birth to a child for a specific purpose in order to uh, be of use to the most amount of clans on the land. The, they call it marking your child. You mark your child before they born. You map his destiny out through your genetic memory. And if they got a wise father, he can contribute. And if it don't go right, they call him a Yaldabaoth, a malformed deity, a deity that did not reach his full potential, a Humpty Dumpty, an egg that fell off the wall, never got to be an eagle, wasted potential. That means that if it's enough women with the same grievance, a child has to be born to answer the grievance of all of these women. If the father is praying with the mother, and they in agreement with the same grievance that adds added force and power to the birthing of the required solution to the problem this is why nobody can never defeat the realm of the earth this is why nobody can never defeat the realm of the earth this all symbolism right Manly P. Hall say once men learn to read the language of symbols there will be nothing able to stop him from ascending to his God self. One of the biggest things is when our leadership is doing leadership duties and we ain't protecting them, what keep happening to us? We, what keep happening to us? We keep getting oppressed because of it. So what about I didn't see too many real players fall to let these bitch niggas beat me. You know you chosen because it's your genetic memory. You just don't know you've been given a false narrative using your genetic memory against you to lead you into somebody else's camp to support their agenda, which is actually oppressive to your psychology. This for y'all, my nigga. Pay attention to this shit, though. 
for all my stump dying doers. Good the babies that was born in the sewer. Yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't finna stop, fuck a cop, cause we already know that we gon' get popped. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jump dying on it, stump dying on it. Jump dying on it. Aye, 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 aye. Jump dying on it, stump dying on it. Hunch up. Jump dying on it. Generator, baby, nigga. Aye, aye, aye. Hey, free my cousin Mike. Free my cousin Mike. That nigga caught a body, gave him 45 to life. Come to think about it, that shit ain't right. Cause these niggas out here lying, saying he took the wrong life. Yeah. Hey, free my nigga here, free my nigga smoke. Free my nigga boo, but these streets ain't no joke. No joke. I pray to God when he touch the streets that he don't smoke. smoke. Cause Miss Judy got heart problems and she needs some hope. You, my little cousin smoking work his whole lifestyle. I asked that nigga why he smoke. Give me superpowers. Nigga, that ain't no excuse, now get your shit together. Your shit together. We could've both been on them blues, get getting that shit together. Nigga. Rest in peace to George Floyd, no knee on my neck. Them laws need some better training, get that shit in check. I do this for my generator babies and my niggas in that box going crazy. This for all my stump dying doers, gutter babies that was born in the sewer. Yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't finna stop fuck a cop, cause we already know that we gon' get popped. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jump down on it, stomp down on it, jump down on it, ay, 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 ay. jump down on it, stomp down on it, jump down on it, ay, 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 ay. I miss my cousin Ryder, man, we lost this. He was just a youngster and they out to me, laws ain't shit. Got me thinking, will this shit ever quit? Years later, doing the same old shit, they can suck a nigga dick. I hate how my emotions take out run. And how my partners make me feel funny. This shit changed over money. I can't believe they really broke my heart. This money shit just tearing us apart. It's tearing us apart. I'ma kill a nigga, rob my mama and my daddy. When I find a man, I put it on Miss Hattie. I put it on Miss Hattie. He pulled a burn out and pistol with my daddy. Got me fucked up, that shit hurt me badly. These take ass niggas raggly. I pray to God these niggas die unhappy. I pray to God these niggas die unhappy. I wanna change, but my lifestyle full of pain. By the generator stinging in the rain. Yeah. This for all my stump dying doers, gutter babies that was born in the sewer. Yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't finna stop fuck a cop, cause we already know that we gon' get popped. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jump down on it, stump down on it. Jump down on it. Aye, 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 aye. Jump down on it, stump down on it. Jump down on it. Aye, 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 aye.